Shelly got the crank, even the flash made a noise like Kshing! I had to take 27 pictures because I didn't know if I got the angle right. Then I have to go and take the camera and bring it to a pharmacy and involve another guy in the development of these pictures. And I just imagine the guy goes and he puts it in the solution and he's shaking it up like, I wonder what this guy did on his vacation. Oh no! No, not again! And then my dick is like appearing like a weird ghost dick on the film. Like a weird poltergeist dick, like George McFly knocked out Biff at the Enchantment Under the Sea dance. And Marty McFly's on stage, he's got a picture in his guitar. His sister reappears, my dick reappears. He teaches everyone about rock and roll. The guy's in a weird dark room just putting up pictures of my weird ghost dick. Now I know he probably has a machine that he just runs it through the machine and never looks at the pictures, but for the purposes of the bit, he's in some weird dark room and he's putting up poltergeist pictures of my dick. I gotta go pick it up and look him in the eye, pay money for it. Now this is before the internet, so I gotta like put it in an envelope with a letter. Like I hope these dick pics find you in good health. Please send back a picture of your boobs. I promise I won't show anybody. <laughs> then I put a stamp on it and involve a federal agency in the sending of the letter. This is the only time where I give the mailman junk mail. <laughs> and I don't know why I do it. It's not like I have something special going on, you know? I think it's just spreading the seed. I feel like men want to spread the seed and they're just going to adjust to technology as it comes up, you know? I feel like it's always been going on. You go back, go back to the 1920s, there's like a dude in like a newsies hat and a wool vest, and he's standing there in front of a, a, a gunpowder camera that literally smokes up the whole room when it goes off. He's like, and I'm gonna send these to my girl through the Wells Fargo wagon. <laughs> then Steve Buscemi comes in with a Tommy gun and shoots up the whole place, because that's literally every reference I have to the 1920s. Go back, go back 200 years, right? There's like a baron in a castle, he's wearing like a red robe. He's in his castle and he has to have a dude oil paint his thing, you know what I'm saying? And it's drafty in a castle, it's cold, you know? And these are castle times, they came right after dragon times. These are official times. It's cold so the dude painting with oils can't paint the actual size of the picture, you know? He's gotta add a little length to it, but he can't go too big because no one likes a sarcastic dick. If he paints it too big, too small, he's gonna get his head chopped off. What I'm trying to say is it's really hard to paint with oils, is what I'm trying to say. Go back 40,000 years. Cavemen drew pictures of their cave dicks on cave walls, right? And this is the best way to send a dick pic, because you're sending it 40,000 years into the future, and the only person who gets to see it needs a master's degree in archeology span to see it. And I wrote that part of the bit before I knew it was factual. So I went and Googled it, and I found out that the oldest cave drawing ever found was found on the collapsed roof of a cave in France, and it's a picture of, guess what? It's a picture of a vagina. So if you don't think he's gonna show anyone, <laughs> thank you very much.